Hey everybody, um, I'm Ben Gramico from Internachi, and I've been asked to do a presentation on some information I want to share with you, um, specific to Florida, and also about um, going from being trained to making money. And I'm going to teach you in about five steps uh, in the next hour about how to make some money as a home inspector. If at any time you have a question, um, please interrupt me. It's no big deal. Um, no big deal at all. If you have a good question, that'd be great. Because sometimes I'll just go on and on and rattle around uh, thinking I'm, I'm I'm providing value and I'm not, right? So what I really want to do is answer all of your questions. So I know Juan, he, he's there for you to answer questions. But if you have any questions for me, if something pops up in your head and you want to uh, maybe chat it. I, I can see my chat box or uh, uh, just raise your hand and interrupt me. That would yeah. be great. I will be, be here. Great. I will be here moderating the questions for you. So okay, if there great. are any questions, I, I will let you know. Awesome. Okay. So there's two links that I would like to share with you that are going to be really important for you. And you can take a screenshot of it. And you can you know take a picture of it right now or, or write it down in a notebook if you have a, a book handy or just remember it, it's natchi.org slash Florida, nechi.org slash Florida, and nechi.org slash everything. Those two URLs are gonna be really important to you. One, this Florida uh, URL link, natchi.org slash Florida, you can go there now if you wanted to. It has everything that we can offer you if you wanna be a home inspector in Florida. A lot of specific things about Florida, right? And we'll go over that in a little bit. And then the natchiorg slash everything, there are the steps to become a successful home inspector. You can always refer to that. So if you want something particular about Florida, that's the first one. And if you want to figure out what you should do next, I would go to natchiorg slash everything. Okay? So those URLs, take a look at those two if you'd like. If you go to natchiorg slash Florida, at the very top, um, we have a program that you may be interested in, or you may hear other inspectors talking about. It's the My Safe Florida Home Program. Um, Internachi was awarded a contract to hire Internachi inspectors to perform wind mitigation inspections on about 140, 150,000 homes in Florida. Um, and we're one of four companies. So if you're interested in that, you have to be um, a licensed home inspector to, to participate in the program. You can join InterNACHI, take a wind mitigation inspection training course, and then um, become part of the program if you're interested in that. And that's at the top of that page. It's called the My Safe Florida Home Program. Um, if you're interested in, well, you're taking a, a pre-licensing course now to become a home inspector, and um, Florida obviously licenses home inspectors, so there's some information there. There's a home inspector exam that you have to take, InterNACHI's state exam, the Florida home inspector exam. That's a kind of like an online exam. You take it with your computer. It has to be proctored, and um, Juan can probably help you out with that, taking that exam. And then I recommend becoming a certified home inspector through InterNACHI. In addition to, on top of becoming a licensed home inspector in Florida, I recommend becoming an InterNACHI certified home inspector because InterNACHI is this huge, big organization that has a ton of resources for our members. Now you can join InterNACHI, this big trade organization, this big group of people who are members of the trade organization and take free online courses and take the exams and, and do a bunch of things online at no additional cost. But when you become certified, in addition to licensing, then a few things happen. One of them is there's an international marketing team available to you. It's not available for members. It's available for members who become certified. And it's actually, it doesn't matter if you're licensed or not. And there's six professional, talented business consultants 
illustrators and designers who will work with you to design anything you want in your marketing, including a logo, a business card, a website, a flyer, a door hanger, a vehicle wrap, anything you want. And all of their work is free because they're employed by Internet. So they don't charge for the design work. All you do is pay for the printing. So if it's a box of business cards, I think that's about a hundred bucks. You know, you can get that at Vistaprint as well, but Vistaprint, you're going to get, um, you know, you have to work on the, the logo and the design. You might as well hire six people. If you were in business by yourself, it, it would be impossible for you to hire six people to work on your marketing. But that's what you have when you become a member and you become a certified home inspector. So I highly recommend becoming both. Get licensed, join Internet and get certified. There's a few other benefits to certified home inspectors that you'll find out. And we can talk about that later. Once you become a licensed home inspector in Florida, you got to renew it every two years or so. And we have that renewal course. You just take a course through Internet It's free and online. So you can renew your license. It's very easy. And you need insurance. You can get, there are insurance providers. One can give you some advice. Internachi has an insurance company and that's on the Florida page as well. You can just get a quote. Why don't you get, just get a quote from our insurance company and compare it with any other insurance company that you want to choose. And you can connect with other certified and licensed home inspectors. There's thousands of them. And to find one, because you want to hang out. There's nothing better than hanging out with a bunch of home inspectors, right? And talking about business. And so here's, a big list of home inspectors. And you can just type in your zip code if you wanted to and find a home inspector that you can maybe call up, see how they're doing, maybe spy on their website, see what services they provide, what are they charging, things like that. You can find a mentor as well. Internet has a ton of mentors and you can get a mentor just about anywhere. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be a mentor that you meet it could be and ride along in the car or something, but it could be in a different county or a different area of the state. And you just log in to the mentoring program and you scroll down and we have, let's see how many in Florida. We have 21 um, mentors in Florida. So if I click Florida and scroll back up, there's Juan Garcia right there. So he's a mentor, but there's other mentors as well. Okay. So you're never alone. If you want to hang out with somebody, if you want to just chat with somebody, if you want to text somebody, um, we have mentors as well. And we've got legal documents and information about mold and wind mitigation inspections and four points and wood destroying organisms and commercial property inspection. It just goes on and on and on on that natchiorg slash Florida page, right? So take a look at that natchiorg slash Florida page. You can even go on our message board and talk with other inspectors if you like, okay? So there's that. There's that information there. The other page, remember it's natchiorg slash everything. And I like to go over a few steps. There's 15 steps on this page. I made the page to help folks keep track of what needs to be done and some type of priority and sequence, right? And the first five steps, we're gonna go over quickly here in the next 45 minutes. Or we can talk about anything you want. You can just interrupt me. <clears throat> And we're going to go from assuming you're just going to join Internet <clears throat> to getting paid at your first job. So let's do that. Let's go to step one. First step is join Internet And I already talked a little bit about the membership benefits. But one of the things you should do is you download the Internet membership guide. When you're a member of this large organization, there's a lot of things to take advantage of. And we put all the important stuff in the membership guide. And the membership guide is like a, a big book and you can download it PDF or you can order a physical copy. Um, we usually find out where uh, when you join, we, we mail you one. But if, if you get missed in the mail, you can just download the free copy, the electronic copy and go through that. Get a pen, go through it and mark all the things that you should be taking advantage of that are free, free membership benefits to help you be successful. We have a home inspector certificate program. That's that certification program through Internet G. And it's actually 
through an online college called the Internachi School. So in this trade organization, inside it, there's an accredited college, just like Harvard and Yale. It's the same accreditation. It's crazy. There's no tuition. It's tuition free for members. And you can take any of the courses, any of their certifications, get certified in a ton of other types of additional inspection. You can get certified in, in uh, roof inspections and, and infrared inspections, all kinds of stuff. And it's free. And it's the only tuition free online home inspector college in the world. And we have free online training. There's our education page. And if you ever wanted to learn about any type of subject, you go to the search field on our education page and type in, uh, what do you want to, how about meth? That's <laughs> there are meth house hazards. So you go into a house and there are certain signs and clues that this house may have been a meth house and we want you to be protected. Years ago, a few years ago, an internet team member went into a house, start to, started to feel sick, came out and realized that you know, he got an ambulance coming and realized the house was a meth house, right? So we built this course in order to protect our members. You become safer when you're doing a home inspection when you know more than you need to know. So you may wanna learn about any type of subject and that's on our education page. We also have certification programs. We have over 60 different types of home inspector certifications. Why would you become something in addition to a Florida licensed home inspector and in addition to an internationally certified home inspector? It's so that you can diversify your services so that you can weather the storm when the market is dipping or rising, you're in the middle because you have different types of services. You can do mold inspections, you can do radon inspection, you can do water inspection, you can do roof inspection, you can do wind mitt inspections, you can do energy inspections. And that's one way, diversify your services. It's one of the keys to success. And also it helps increase gross revenue. It's one of the best ways to increase gross revenue. One of the ways, there's only a handful of ways you can make more money as a home inspector. One of them is, offering additional inspection services. So while you're performing a home inspection, you could um, ask your client to, uh, if they're interested in a mold inspection, right? And we can, we have training for you. Maybe there's a stucco inspection or maybe there's a, a pool inspection. So you wanna be trained and certified on how to inspect lawn irrigation systems, right? That's a really great video course. You watch a, a master lawn irrigation system company and inspector, and they explain how to inspect lawn irrigation systems, right? It's that additional type of inspections where you increase gross revenue. And you do that, especially when you're new, you don't have any, when you're a new inspector, no one trusts you and you have no credibility. So you might as well take advantage of InterNACHI and get trained and certified in additional types of services. And that gives you credibility, right? It's called borrowing trust. Like if no one knows you, you could yell out as much as you want that you're licensed and you're certified, but no one trusts you. So you have to borrow trust from someone, borrow trust from the world's largest organization of inspectors and use our certifications, right? And in addition to being licensed, you should get certified. So you can use those logos in your marketing. And now if InterNACHI trusts you, maybe other people can as well. And that's really important when you're just starting off. Um, and th then we have all these other things, like we have inspection defect flashcards. So you can go through and you're, you're asked to describe, you know, what's your call on this one, right? And, you know, what would you say in your inspection? If you're talking to a client or you're writing a report, what would you say if you found that defect? And then you can say the, you can see the answer, right? So it's kind of fun. It's a, it's a way to learn how to perform an inspection using one of our resources. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is all about getting trained, certified, licensed, and getting experience. And that's difficult to do when you're new. How do you get experience? Well, we have um, some resources for you. One, you take the online inspector examination. I know you're going to get... Uh, you're going to take that Florida inspector exam. That's to get the license. But you can take InterNACHI's exam as well in order to test your knowledge. 
See if at the end of the uh, exam, it shows you where you're weak in your knowledge. So if you don't know enough about electrical, it'll tell you which course to take. Remember on our education page, that meth course, it'll tell you you're weak in electrical or weak in roofing, or maybe you need to learn more about moisture intrusion. So they'll give you a course to take. And you can take that over and over to test your knowledge, to see where you're strong and where you're weak. And you want to strengthen your weaknesses so you can become a competent, fully competent uh, home inspector. Then um, you want to get certified. And in addition to uh, taking the House of Horrors five-day class, in addition to taking any online course, there's this introduction to home inspections course. This is a very simple, basic course introducing you to how to perform a home inspection. And we go through all the systems and components. And we also teach you how to find problems and how to fix those problems. Because if you find a defect at a home, your client is probably going to want to know, like, how, well, how do I fix it? Is it a big problem or a little problem? You know, is a dirty air filter a big, big problem? Is it a deal killer? No. It's a smoke detector, a, a deal killer? No, it's you're not killing deals. It's a simple fix. So if you need to be introduced to these concepts of how to perform an inspection, what are the systems and components, what does a defect look like, and how to fix it, this is a great course, right? And it's free and online. So if you think you need that type of training, right, then you want to um, dedicate about an hour a night, I would say, I, re I recommend. Instead of watching your favorite Netflix uh, show, right, or in addition to, dedicate one hour a night. One hour a night times five hours, you know, in a week. And at the end of the month, that's 20 hours. That's a half of a full-time week at a full-time job that you've dedicated to learning more, what you need to know. It's all about learning as much as you possibly can. So take advantage of the five-day class, ask a ton of questions with Juan, and then go online and strengthen those weaknesses and take advantage of all the internet benefits that are provided to our members. And then... If you need to gain experience and you're not sure what to do, you can ask Juan, you can ask other inspectors, you can find a mentor, or you can click this link here. And we wrote some advice on how to get experience. One of them is like when you, it's just, it's just inspect whatever, wherever you're at right now. If you're in an apartment, if you're in a condo, if you're in a house, if you're in a, a townhouse, Inspect that house 10 times. And you can use InterNACHI's checklist if you don't have software. You, need, you gotta get software eventually. And we have recommendations on the software. But you have to practice inspecting that house. You can practice inspecting, oh heck, anything. The kitchen. Well, let's say you're in a, uh, in a hotel room tonight. Uh, let's do the bathroom. How fast and efficient can you inspect the bathroom? It should take you about five minutes. No more than that. If you're spending 20 minutes in the bathroom, uh, no one's going to attend any of your inspections because you're taking too long. You're like a, a slow turtle, right? And I'm not saying you need to run through a house and blow through a house and skip over stuff. I'm saying you have to be practiced enough, experienced enough so you can inspect every system in a home efficiently, right? So practice inspecting. Do, do it tonight. See how to inspect your bathroom tonight. It sounds silly, but you'll find out that you, you just need some practice and it's very easy to do on your own. And then you can click a couple of these links here and watch. We have resources. We've videotaped master inspectors like Juan Garcia in video and they walk through a home and they explain how they perform a home inspection. So you watch in a master inspector and then you do the inspection yourself and then you go back to the video, watch another master inspector perform an inspection and then you perform an inspection, that back and forth. If you're not lucky to find like a local inspector who will bring you in his or her vehicle and ride you around during inspections, if you can't find a mentor, there are other ways to become trained and experienced, okay? 
That's step two. Get trained, certified, licensed, and get some experience. Step three, you need some tools, some inspection tools and software. So you go to step three, and we have resources for you, right? So if you want to go shopping for inspection tools and equipment, you can go anywhere online. But I recommend Inspector Outlet. They have a pretty good list of tools, um, body cameras, electrical testers, flashlights. You need a good flashlight, high lumens flashlight. I got one myself in my vest here. So, you know, it turns on. And also I like this because, um, let's see, how can I do this? So it's, um, it, you can pull it out and it's, the focus is really wide or you can pull it like that and it's, it's targeted. So I don't know if you can see that. So I kind of like these types of flashlights. And those are available through Inspector Outlet or any store. You need a, a basic set of tools. You need a flashlight, GFCI tester, a voltage leak tester to start off. And then you start making some money. You can buy fancy tools like an infrared camera, right? An infrared camera helps a home inspector just do a better inspection. I can see potentially where there's energy problems or something's overheated, or maybe there's some water problems, you know? So think about working towards getting a, an infrared camera. You can get an infrared camera for about 500 bucks. That's probably a little bit more expensive than that. Maybe a moisture meter. And you can see my tool bag, it's full. It's full of tools. And the more tools I have, the better inspector I am. So it's kind of fun to go shopping for inspection tools and equipment. And we have that resource for you. And Inspector Outlet gives discounts to InterNACHI members, no one else. We also have home inspection checklists. So tonight you can download, download this checklist or um, use it on your phone or your computer and inspect the bathroom. So here's like, here's a, a sample inspection that I did, or I just, just a, a fake house, one, two, three main street. And you can go to plumbing, and then you inspect the main water su supply shop valve. Are there defects? Then you click no defect. Or maybe there's a minor defect. Or maybe there's a major defect and you type in. You have to practice typing what you want to say. Like, I observed a water leak at the main water supply shutoff valve. Correction is recommended, right? And then you go to the next one. Main fuel shutoff valve. Maybe there isn't one, so it's not present. And maybe there's the water heating equipment. And so it... It goes through every system and component of a home according to the standards of practice. That's what our software here does for you. And it's free and online. You can use your phone or your computer to do it. So you can practice without buying software. You're eventually gonna have to buy software. You can practice using InterNACHI's inspection checklist. In fact, you could inspect the house of horrors right there four times becomes to become InterNACHI certified we're going to ask you to write four mock reports using our checklist software. So you're going to have to use it anytime, anyways. So you might as well inspect the house of horrors four times and use that checklist. We also have report writing software. And InterNACHI used its size to make these vendors of software give discounts to InterNACHI members. I like all of them except I have right now Spectora on my phone. And Spectora has an app that allows me to inspect with a checklist in my hand. And I don't know if you can be able to see it. I won't be able to share it, but I'll, I'll, I can do it later if you want me to. But let's just say I'm, I'm inspecting uh, the flashing, you know? And it goes down and I've got my recommendations. Yeah, you can't see it, but I've got my recommendations here. And if I see a defect, I just click it. And that sentence pops into my report and I take a picture of the defect and that goes into my report as well. So if I'm inspecting tonight, the bathroom, right? I'm gonna flush the toilet, run the sink, run the shower, run the tub, test the GFCI tester with the fan, door, window, there is floor, ceiling, cabinet, look for sinks, valves, functional flow from the shower. And if there's a defect, I'm gonna take a picture of it and put it in my report. You have to practice that. Eventually you're gonna need software and we have those resources for you. If you're an InterNACHI member, they'll give you a discount. Just click that link. 
right? And then we also have a ton of other checklists. Man, we have a ton of checklists. We have basic inspection checklists. We have that report software and we have discounted software, but we also have like a gas furnace inspection, inspection check. If you're not familiar with gas furnaces, maybe download the checklist, upload it into your software, walk around, right? Now you can stand in front of the thing that you're not quite sure of, but it's okay because you have InterNACHI's checklist. You know what to inspect. Having the checklists incorporated into your software that you hold into your hand allows you to do a better inspection. Also makes you efficient with your time. So you're not wasting time. You're not spending an hour in the bathroom. It's only five minutes, right? And also reduces your mistakes because the software won't let you print a report unless everything has been inspected. So um, take a look at software and take a look at our checklist as well. We have a pool and spa checklist if you're interested in inspecting pools and spas. Okay, back to the checklist, uh, the steps. That was step three. Step four, calculate profitable inspection fees. You won't be in business very long if you can't figure out what to charge. And what you need to charge must be profitable for your business. So it isn't about feelings. I feel like I should be charging about $200. It isn't about what Juan Garcia is charging. He's charging, oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know, I guess I can charge that much. It's about math. It's also about the market. You have to look to see what your competitors are charging, right? But it's really about math. You have to figure out how much money you need to make. How much money do you need to make to pay the bills, go on vacation, and have some profit, right? Put some in savings and invest. What's your desired annual salary? What's your ideal desired annual salary being an owner operator of a successful home inspection business? How much money do you wanna make? How much money do you wanna take home as an owner, right? How much money do you wanna withdraw? And how much overhead do you have? Do you have a mortgage, do you have rent, utilities, do you have a car payment? something like that, how much, you know, you got to pay. And then how much profit do you want to make? You know, a 20% profit margin is pretty reasonable. You could be more. And then you divide it kind of all that stuff divided by your time. How many days of the week do you want to work? Well, when I was starting off, it was seven. I think there's seven days in the week. <laughs> I worked every day, right? And then when you become successful, you can back down a little bit. At the height of my success, I was working four days a week and making actually more money than I ever did because I had all the processes and systems in place. I had other people working for me and with me, right? That's where you want to be, maybe multi-inspector group, or maybe you just want to stay. It doesn't matter what kind of company you want to run. It's about math. And then you take a look at that, how much you charge for a home inspection and see if you're high or low in relation to everybody else. That's why you wanna find certified, uh, certified inspectors in your area. You wanna find licensed inspectors in your area. Use our search engine, you know? Join a chapter, a local chapter. Go to events, bump elbows with others and see where you are, where you're priced in relation to everybody else based upon the math that you did. And then, right, let's say you're real low. Maybe you're just not charging enough. Maybe you're like, oh, maybe I'm, there's room to grow. Like there are other successful inspectors around you that are charging much more than, you know, you need to raise the boat, right? You need to raise your fees. You always want to keep raising your fees based upon the value you provide. You want to provide a ton of value. Where do you get value? Get certified in other inspections right? Tell your client that not only do you, not only you're a licensed home inspector, anybody can become a licensed home inspector, but you're internet certified, you're an actually certified home inspector, and you're certified in additional inspections like you fill in the blank. And then you bundle those services together. Now you're making not just a $300 home inspection, you make me four, $500 when you come home. That's 500 bucks in your pocket. That's why I worked Saturday and Sunday. 
if you can't figure all this out, we have a home inspection business course and it's chapter 11 of the home inspection business course that talks about, we have inspector Jane and inspector John, and they're trying to figure out what to charge for their profitable home inspection. And we go through an example. We figure out what the, the desired annual fee is and the overhead and the time and all that stuff and go through that chapter, chapter 11 of the home inspection business course. Um, this is the best thing you could do. Um, in addition to uh, practicing inspecting your bathroom tonight, um, make sure you spend time in taking a home inspection business course. And it's from a home inspector college, right? You're going back to college and taking our college course. I'd be very proud of that. We also have a fee calculator. You could fool around with some fee calculations. And we also have a system where you, once you get hired to do an inspection, don't step on the property until you get a contract signed. And we have a, um, an agreement system. You want an agreement, a contract that's signed between you and your client before you step on the property. That talks about how much, what you're gonna do for how much. And you kind of set the, the conditions of the inspection. That's step four. Step five is a little bit about the basics of marketing. And it has a lot to do with getting online. You need a website. Okay, what's a website? A website describes, I mean, describes everything you do and who you are and the reasons why we should hire you. I mean, tonight, I need to find a restaurant for my family, right? Tonight is we, one night a week. We go out as a family, me, my wife, and three daughters, and we go to a restaurant and we try to pick different restaurants. And sometimes it's my job to pick the restaurant. And I ain't picking a restaurant until I see their website. Because I want to see what's going on. I want to see the food. I want to see the menu. I want to see the price. I want to see maybe Google reviews, right? That's a website. That's just for a burger that I'm going to have tonight. That's like nothing. It's just for a burger. People are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars buying a house they probably want to check out your website before they buy something that important. So there are inspectors who say, I don't have a website. That's great. I don't know how you stay in business. God bless you. But you really need to get a website. There are plenty of places to get a website. You can get a free website anywhere. There's Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, all kinds of stuff. There's Google free websites. There's GoDaddy stuff. But none of them really... Uh, help you as an inspector. So I'm gonna give you a, a resource where you can go to get a website. But a domain, you need a domain. And this is the fun part. If you haven't figured it out yet, finding a domain for your business is a lot of fun. So you go to one of these sites, you can click the link on step five and you figure out, um, well, how about Juan Garcia Home Inspections.com? Let's see if it's available. Oh, it is. I could get JuanGarciaHomeInspections.com right now. <laughs> and how much is it? It's a dollar a month. Okay, so a domain is like your company name. And it's a sign. It's like an arrow. And it points to your website. So you got to get a domain. And finding a domain that kind of fits your business. Um, mine is, you can do that. You can go here if you want to. BigBenInspections.com, BigBenInspections.com. That's my domain. It's that thing at the top corner of your browser window that you type, right? So that's my website right there, BigBenInspections.com. It kind of shows, kind of gives the answer to the question, why should you hire me instead of the next inspector, right? I want to make sure I have gained their trust by borrowing trust from InterNACHI, you have that certification logo. I also have extra value that I add to my inspections. I and reinforce that they have found the best inspector where I wanna make sure it's geocentric. It's in Raleigh, North Carolina, right? I've been inspecting homes since 1996. Well, not a lot of people can say that, so I might as well say it, right? And I got a ton of information for them and lots of pictures for them. Like, there's me on the roof. There's me on a ladder, right? If you're going to compete with me, you have to figure out how you're going to beat me because I'm going to be on the ladder. I'm going to get on the roof. Maybe you need to use a drone. And all that stuff, all those 
answers to the question, why should I hire you, is on your website. So you need a domain to point to a website. But what's on the website? All that marketing stuff. And you start with the internet marketing team. You go, to, you go over here. Start here with a logo. You need a logo. If you have a logo already, get it redesigned, right? So it can expand out and wrap around your truck without losing resolution. You can blow up on a billboard somewhere and it won't lose resolution. And it can shrink down and you can still identify your brand, your logo, your name. It has to be designed by a professional. Don't ask your cousin who took a college course about logos or something. Don't download anything off the internet. It's illegal. Get it designed by a professional team. And man, you can scroll through. They've done thousands. My marketing team has done thousands of logos for home inspectors. And they all look really cool, right? And if you like one of them, you can say like, hey, um, Jessica, she's the director of marketing. I like the ACE home inspections logo. Can you make one, you know, for me, except instead of ACE, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, something like diamonds or something, okay? Um, use the marketing team. Then go get a logo. You'll get a logo. You don't have to pay for the design work. And then you put that logo on your website. And the website designer is going to look at that logo and take colors out of it and design a website for you. If you don't have a website, that's fine. You can make one yourself for free, but you can hire, you can hire someone too, but don't spend more than 500 bucks. There's no reason to pay a thousand, two thousand dollars. I know there's actual software companies like Spectora, they do websites too. Just make sure you're comparing prices, right? You want to get, you want to leverage the size of InterNACHI that have squished vendor prices down for InterNACHI members. We force vendors to give the best prices to our members. And so you go to nachi.org slash website to get a website at an affordable price. They designed my website. Remember this website? That's mine. That's my website. They designed my website. Go to inspectorwebsitebuilder.com, Inspector Website Builder, and get a website for a few hundred bucks and $16 a month. Okay. Domain arrow pointing to your website. Design team at the marketing has designed the logo and your flyer and the colors, right? And then you update your internet membership profile. Yeah, if you haven't done that, you got to. You need your correct name, right? There, that's me. You need your mailing address. That's my mailing address. You need your email and a secondary email so people can reach you. And you need your company information, your company name, spell it correctly, because it's name, address, phone number that Google likes. You got to be accurate about this. And you get, need your website address in there. Now, InterNACHI can send people from the internet who are searching for a home inspector in your zip code to your website through your domain name. So you have to update your InterNACHI membership profile. And you also have to add inspection services. Don't worry about, like, it's, don't be overwhelmed right now. Remember, we got the Florida page and we got the everything page with the five steps. And you got the links that will always be there for you. And just keep working through it and get to a certain point where I'm going to show you, you can start making money. So you have to add search listings. So where are you listed? If you're in another country, you got to add that code. If you're in a, a zip code or 10 zip codes around Florida, like you service this area, add those zip codes. That's important because people search for licensed home inspector in Orlando, Florida, or in a certain zip code. They're looking for a, a, an, an inspector, the best inspector in a certain area. So you need your name, address, phone number, domain, website, but you got to be listed as well through InterNACHI by zip code. So we can grab those people. It sounds complicated maybe, but it's essential, right? If I'm going to find a pizza shop tonight in a certain area, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to search for pizza restaurant in 27603, uh, that zip code. So you need to be accurate with this. This is how you win the game of marketing.
you do these things and a couple other things like with Google. I've got some links here and some videos because this is about marketing. Just because you learn how to become a home inspector and you have a license and you're certified doesn't mean you have what it takes to be successful. It just means that you are competent to perform an inspection. See, performing an inspection is pretty straightforward. What's really difficult is running a successful home inspection business. And that takes a lot of marketing and business strategies. And we help you with all these resources, like the home inspection business course, like the internet chief marketing team, like the website builder. Allow these entities to help you run a successful home inspection business. Your first step is to get trained and experience. Remember, that was in step one. Join Internet G, step two, get trained and experienced, buy some basic tools, and then start to do the marketing, right? You have to price your inspection fee, start thinking about how much you want to charge, and then get online. Just like I'm going to look for a pizza shop tonight, get online so that people can find a home inspector in your area. And now's the time to do it. I know you're taking a five-day class, learning a lot, but marketing is kind of fun when you start to start to do it in a sequential order. And hopefully these steps help you because after step five, at this point, you can actually start making money as a home inspector. Man, once you become certified and enter your phone number, email, and website address into InterNACHI's profile, the phone might ring. That phone might ring instantly. I was in a class, I was teaching a, a class like one was teaching and somebody actually finished the steps while I was teaching it and the phone rang. <laughs> no kidding. It was really amazing. When he came back into class, he was that my phone just rang. I, I finished my profile and my phone rang. It actually works really well. If you follow the steps, where is that? That's at natchi.org slash everything. So you got the natchi.org slash Florida and the natchi.org slash everything page. These are resources that you ought to take advantage of, okay? And that's that's why I wanted to share with you. That was about, I don't know how long that was, but that's why I wanted to share with you. Do you have any questions for me? We have a question, Ben, hold on. Yeah. So, I do, and so uh, in reference to the CPI course, um, yeah. If you're not from Florida, like I'm in Tennessee and you want to do the course, I know it takes a while, like, you know, do the whole course to do the four inspections. Do you have to come back down to Florida? Or can we go to like Colorado House of Horrors to do that? Or does it have to be all done in certain locations? Okay. So you're, you're in Tennessee and you want to take a, uh, you want to become licensed in Tennessee? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to natchit.org slash, instead of Florida, go to natchit.org slash Tennessee. And I'll do it right now. Ten, uh, see? Boop. And we have a pre-licensing course that is required. You got to take a 90-hour licensing course. And we have that pre-licensing course online and free for you to take. Okay? So yeah. I would take the Internet G's 90-hour pre-licensing course. It's free and online. And fulfill that state requirement. Um, Florida... You have to take 120 hours of training, right? In, in Tennessee, it's 90. So you can take that online course. You can also, um, there's a state exam as well, and we can help you with resources to prepare that state exam. We don't know what questions are on the state exam. Unlike Florida, Florida recognized the Internet Cheese exam. Tennessee doesn't. I don't know why. Yeah. But I thought, I thought it was, when I looked it up, I thought Tennessee was a national exam. So I hope I'm not saying yeah. the wrong course. Yep. Yeah. So, um, uh, well, no, th there isn't any course that, um, there really shouldn't be, there isn't any course to prep you for the exam. Oh, yeah, because, material, yeah. Yeah. No one should know what the questions are. Yeah. So we're just kind of guessing what the questions yeah. should be. And we have those resources for you. Yeah. And you can do that at home online from anywhere. I'm talking about the certified, the CPI course, the one that takes like about a year, yep. like education. Okay. When it comes to when it comes time to do the the four inspections, do you have to come back down to this house of orders or can we go to like Colorado or the one in Pennsylvania? 
Nope, you can inspect any home at all. Uh, you can inspect your, oh, your oh, own oh, home. Okay. You can inspect your own home four times. You can inspect your home three times in your neighbor's home or your friend's home. Just four reports. Oh, right? Okay. All right. And and let me make it real clear. The the certification. There's six steps to become certified. There's only six steps to become certified. After you become certified, we require you to take more courses in order to maintain that certification. And you got a year to take courses. But to become certified initially, there's six steps. So there's step one, you pass the examination. That's on top of the Tennessee examination. This is InterNACHI's examination. Um, you can, and you don't have to be a member to, to take that exam. And then if you're not a member, you join InterNACHI in order to do the, the other steps, which is Code of Ethics course, Standards of Practice course, and the four mock inspections. And then you sign an agreement. So there are six steps to become certified. You can do all that online and it's all free. Okay. And then you become a certified inspector through InterNACHI. Do you have a question? Come in. We got one more question, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hi. I was just wondering if you still are doing the roof data uh, technician program. Owens Corning paused it because of supply chain issues. So we were doing um, when whenever there was a weather event on a house that had Owens Corning roofing, Owens Corning would hire uh, internet inspectors to go up on the roof and do it a, a, a roof data collection. But something has happened with the uh, the program and so they paused it and they haven't turned it back on again. Um, that's why we're so interested in the My Safe Florida Home program so that we can bring jobs to uh, Internet Chief members. So um, I still recommend uh, I still recommend the, that training program because inside that training program, you can watch the videos. We got Owens Corning to do the training. So the Owens Corning um, roofing trainers came to Internet headquarters and we built a mock roof and they they I filmed them and those videos are there. So if you wanted to learn um, about roofing inspections, this is a really good training video uh, course. So you can just become a roof data collector for a program that doesn't exist anymore or is on pause. But again, it's all about getting that knowledge. It's a really good roof inspection training course and it's all video. It's really good. And if you you want to know where that is, uh, you can just email me, ben at internet.org. Oh, and that's the last thing I want to, um, that's the next thing I want to give you is my email. I answer every email. Um, don't call me. I'm not very good on the phone, but I'm really good on email. I'll eventually get to your question if I haven't um, answered your question, or if you have a question that comes up later, you can always email me. That is my job. I work for you, just like the 28 people who work for InterNACHI, all fully staffed, employed, I manage them all. And uh, you can ask anyone on staff, what should I do next with my home inspection? What should I be doing in order to be successful? And uh, they'll reply to you for sure. And if you can't get an answer, you can always email me about anything at all. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.